Hello spicy reefers. We've got a little interesting project here. We've got to finish up this rock work, right? This is taking way too long. In the upper right hand corner of that tank, I want to make a, a star destroyer. And we're going to just surround, cut and paste. Alas, this is too big. And this is too small, so I need to make a sphere out of that rock. How am I going to do it? I don't have the perfect size ball, and then it hit me. I have an idea. We're going to take this guy. It didn't quite work. I'm doing some kind of magic trick here. <laughs> it rolled away on me. That looks pretty good. I like that size. Not bad, eh? All right, well, apparently this stuff is a little bit thinner and more flimsy than I had hoped as far as cutting it on the big blade. What I might end up doing is just cutting it by hand hoping to get a thinner piece so that way it would be hidden and what we're gonna do is take this insert it like that and glue this onto the back of the wall now there's gonna be a couple of tricks um, that I haven't seen out there anywhere but we'll take a look and see if it works maybe I haven't seen them because they don't work <laughs> All right, 
Here we go. Alright, so something I did not videotape because I couldn't get the camera in here and my fingers at the same time. As you can see there is the plastic with my silicone, 100% silicone. Take these guys off, I don't need those anymore. So we're just putting it up against there. So now that plastic acrylic is is kind of, I can take this off if I want to, right? Because it's just barely, ooh, can I? Well, I have to take the pole off first. But it just, it just slides on there and it rests. And what's inside here, in addition to that plastic that's holding it firm, is some of this stuff. Let's see if I can show you. I just got this in the <laughs> shipment of, I can't even remember what it was at this point. It's basically foam. It floats in the water. And I've been using it with um, the avocado seeds in the freshwater tank that I have. And it floats the avocado trees, basically. Um, here. If I could show you one of them. Um, oh, uh, this one's just using a white styrofoam. This one here. There you go. So I've had that in there forever and it's been doing just fine. And that's what's floating my avocado tree. Whoa. And so the theory is, the thought is, as you can already guess, is that the styrofoam, or the foam, black foam, is gonna help to support my Star Destroyer, right? Oh no, that's the Death Star, excuse me. That's the Star Destroyer, that's the Death Star. And once it's floating, or somewhat floating, or at least has made that ball a little bit lighter, then I'll go ahead and remove that PVC and we'll see what happens. Cool. Spicy Reef here, signing off. Now what are you doing? I think I got it. How do you know if it's up or down?